world to show us how to cook a Greek Cypriot recipe. Yeah, yeah, show me how to cook! We also invited two contestants to compete against each other to reproduce this dish. Who, who taught you how to cook? Like, mm. what you really know? No one really. Yeah, yeah, will then decide which is the best dish and the winner is crowned Hellenic Cook of the Week. Yasas ke parasas! Hello, I'm Kay Pirillus and welcome to Yaya Show Me How to Cook, where Yaya's secrets in the kitchen are unveiled for us, the younger generation, to acquire. I'm on my way to Yaya Vespo's house who is cooking gubes, a delicious Cypriot snack best eaten with your hands and covered in lots and lots of lemon. Gubes are made with an outer layer of bulgur wheat stuffed with pork and onion and then deep fried in sunflower oil. Well, I've certainly worked up an appetite, so it's a good thing I'm here. Hello. Hello, yeah, yeah, that's for such a pleasure to meet you. Hello, sorry, Cesar. Thank you, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Hello, yeah, yeah, this was such a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me here and for having all of us here. Uh, tell me, what village are you from? Aganthu. So that's in Cyprus, yeah? That's right, yes. What do you remember about Aganthu? Well, I do remember my father's house. He just built it because he retired in, after being in England so many years and he was always wanted to have a house in Cyprus. Invade, and the invasion took place after yeah. a couple of years and he came over here, we found him with a, uh, through the Red Cross. He took us, it took us three to four days to find him. So that was after the invasion? After the invasion okay. and we brought him over here and all we could see, after all those years he worked in this country and went back, he came back with torn trousers and a shirt. Well, um, you know, you came over here at 10 years old. When you came over, where, where did you live? I lived in the West End at first with my father and mother and my sister. And then we moved, my father bought a house in East London. We lived there, all of us, together. And then after Mary uh, married my husband, we bought a house over here. And uh, I'm going to move on to a different topic now. Um, your, your cooking, uh, how did you learn to cook, uh, you know, all these great dishes? We had a, a restaurant in Southbridge Road, which was the family restaurant. We sold that, and then we bought, a, me and my husband, we bought another one in Tower Bridge, just over Tower Bridge. And I worked there ever since, okay. until we retired. And did you cook? Sorry? I used to prepare the, most of the Greek dishes in the morning, then my husband used to take over, and the other chefs, because I never used to trust the other chefs. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> See, I had to do the most of the preparation. So did your husband cook too? Yes, yes. My husband was a, a, a chef as well. After okay. being a hairdresser, he was a hairdresser right, at first, okay. and then he went in with me. And did you teach him how to cook? That's right. Yes, you taught I did. Him how to I cook. taught him how to cook. <laughs> yeah. So you're yes. good. At, you're good at teaching. So uh, our contestants today have got a good teacher here. Yes. Yeah, well, I hope to be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much uh, for having our interview, and uh, we've got two contestants for you coming up. Uh, you're going to show them how to make gubes. Oh, right? brilliant! Yeah, you're going to show I'd them how to make to. gubes and uh, show them with your your own recipe. Yes. Uh, tell tell us a bit about how how did you you know get this recipe, particular recipe for gubes? Um, I don't really quite remember, but I'm, I've tried once with something with a different recipe, and it didn't work out. And then I found this recipe, but I don't remember where. And I picked this recipe and I made them with this recipe and they were excellent. So I carried on and on yeah. and on. I made them for, um, there's, they do a, f a fade in Metamorphosis to Sodiris on the 6th of August. In church? In this country. Okay. Okay. And we used to go down to our restaurant and we used to make them there. We used to make thousands of them. Wow. So you're very good at this. This uh, yes, we used to make a paklava. This we used to make a lot of burka, Everything we used to make, and then the girls of Philoptos they used to sell them, and what money they used to receive, they used to go to the church. Wow, lovely. Which you know was very very nice. It's a very good cause. Very you know? very good cause. Yes. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people who tasted your gobes uh, 
really enjoyed them. Yes. But now let's go and meet our two contestants for this week, who are two cousins, and they go head to head in this week's Yeah Yeah Show Me How to Cook. I'm Maria, Creative Director at Digital Mosaic, also known as The Best Boss. Here's my award. Um, I'm looking forward to taking on the challenge against Peter, the Technical Director, on Yaya Show Me How to Cook, because I've got a bit more experience than him and I'd like to win another competition against him. Um, uh, I'm feeling quite confident, unless of course I make Sorbla, in which case I know that he's got more experience at sitting there for hours watching the meat turn. Hi, I'm Peter. I co-founded Digital Mosaic with Maria a few years ago. Some people call me Ped because apparently two syllables is too long. I'm really looking forward to going on Yaya Show Me How to Cook because I'm not a very good cook but I do take instructions on board and I think I can crush the competition. Well Yaya, can you tell us what are we cooking today? Gobes. Oh, I like gobes. Well, now that we're all here, Yaya, show me how to cook! This week's dish of 28 gobes, the outer layer, you need one pound of fine bushguri, one coffee cup of semolina, salt, pepper, one chicken stock, three tablespoons of flour, three tablespoons of sunflower oil, one teaspoon of baking powder, one medium onion. And for the filling, you need one pound of pork mince, olive oil, one large onion, one teaspoon of cinnamon, three quarter teaspoons of black pepper, and half a glass of parsley. Now, gobes are not a very simple dish to make for us amateurs, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> so um, please, yeah, yeah, put us out of our misery and tell us how do we make gobes? Right, first of all, you get your burkuri, right. which is for gobes, it's got to be fine burkuri, okay? which I normally weigh the burkuri a pound. In other words, it's about 40, 450 grams so to a pound. I measure it with a glass or a cup. Whatever I use, a glass or a cup, I use the same amount of water to soak the burkuri because it takes about four hours before it really soaks. Also, I put in one small coffee cup of semolina, I put one tablespoonful of cinnamon, I put one tablespoonful of pepper and also with my hot water which it has to be boiling water I put one chicken cube which I dilute in the hot water before I put it in the burkuri. Okay. When I do that I leave it to soak as I said for hours. Okay. Right, thank you. And so this this has it got all the ingredients in already? It has all the ingredients, everything. I, right. Sometimes you might need a little bit of salt. But I don't normally use it because chicken cube has salt in it. Okay, okay. So after we've uh, put this to soak for four hours, what do we do next? Right, we'll take an onion. Yep, peeled and washed. Peeled and washed. Yep. Right. With a grater, you use, you use a grater. Mm -hmm. In on the, the great, sacks, great so onion. it's got to be like water when right. you do grate it, okay? Oh, can you How do you stop yourself from you crying? <laughs> so normally now mm -hmm. I will put it in the body. <coughs> right. So okay. Also every glass or every cup I use of water. Right. I know of burkuri, I use one tablespoon full right. of baking powder. So how much uh, baking powder do you put in now? One, sorry, so I'm going to put one, one and three quarters. No, one and three quarters. I should put, that. yes, one and three quarters. Right, okay. okay. So far, burkuri soaked, yes. um, onion and baking powder. Yes, okay. One and three quarters. I spoon. would not put any cinnamon because it's already in there. Okay. Okay. When you've soaked it. Yes. How, mu uh, how much cinnamon do we put there usually though? One. Okay. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. Okay. Right. Okay. Now we have to put one spoonful of flour. So that's a tablespoon. That's a very tablespoon. big spoon. <laughs> yes. Now, oh, I have to put because it was one and three quarters. One and three quarters. Yes. Sorry. Of uh, what's that corn flour? Sorry. 
basically powder flour. Flour, right. The others was baking powder. Mm -hmm. Now I have to put the oil, the same amount again. Okay. With the oil. But so I would use a little bit more because I find sometimes they're a bit dry. So I use So two tablespoons two of oil. Table. Just a little bit more. Right, okay. Right. So what do you do now? You mix them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mix right. it all well together and, and knead it. It needs a lot of work. Okay. Get the muscles out. Good exercise, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're more or less ready there. It's ready there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. What you do, you get it in your hand, okay, Come like this, yeah. with your look. finger, okay, and you make a hole up here, and you go round and round and round and make them as very fine as you can, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you use water as well to smooth, to you keep it together, don't you? Yes. So it doesn't crumble. Yes, it doesn't crumble, you see. Right. And you have to make them, all right, this one's broke, but it doesn't matter, I will do it later. Okay? Look, like that, and you fill them up, then you close them. Up like to like this. Okay. You so, put, so you yeah. put stuff in. You work. You work up. with your hands. Okay. Yeah. Like this. Okay. Right. So sculpture in art class. Well, you're you're, <laughs> the, you're the creative one. <laughs> <aren't> you? <laughs> See. So you know. Yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah. They look a bit like little lemons. Yeah. Like that. I think. <laughs> I always cut the little bit off because it's it's always stays together otherwise. Oh, okay. So what you do, you don't cut them so fine, okay? Right. So you cut them. So you dice them. them, yeah? You dice them right. like that, okay? All right, lovely. I think we've got our onions chopped now. Is there anything else we need to do before we go to the kitchen? Uh, no. Yep, yeah, so we're all ready. Ready. Ready to fry. Let's go. So at the moment, yeah, yeah, you're going to be cooking the onions for the filling of the gubbers. Yes, right? my darling. Yes, we'll cook the onions first. They're already getting really brown there. Yeah. <laughs> That's one brown You looking forward to all this? I'm hoping that they taste good at the end. <laughs> Right, yeah, emptying it out there. I can't take everything out, so what I will do, I will put it, put it in the now. How much, can you remind us, how much meat do we put um, while, while we're cooking the gobbles? How much meat is it? Well, one pound of burguri takes one pound of meat meat. Okay. Plus a lot of onions, as I said before. Yeah. Chicken stock. You don't know if I put any food in there, do you? No. That's what you're doing. So what is that now? This is black pepper. Black pepper. Which I should put just a half a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I normally, when I don't do it so fast, I will normally cook my mince meat on a very low gas and I put a little bit of water with it so it can really cook and be nice and tender. Mm -hmm. I normally cook it for nearly an hour or sometimes oh, over okay. an hour. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And that's to make the meat tender? It makes the meat, the, even, as though it's a mince meat, it does need to be tender. Yeah, and now I will switch it off. Right, okay, and I will put my parsley. The parsley always goes to the end. Okay. You don't keep it on the on the gas, okay? You just turn it off and then you put your parsley in. You use as much parsley as you can because so you that's don't want what, it to wilt too much. That's what right? it gives you a, yeah. the flavour. And then you put your onions in as well. As I said, you need a lot more onions than this, but mm -hmm. we're doing it on a quick. And how much parsley would you say you, that goes in? Quite a lot. Quite a lot. I think it would take a, a bunch, a whole bunch of parsley to, or sometimes more, more than pound. a bunch to a whole pound of parsley. Okay. okay. 
Right, we just come back from the kitchen, we've fried everything, we've got everything ready. You so can what really you do, smell the onions, like it's a very strong yeah. smell. Can you guys smell Listen, that? Yeah. When, you, so when nice. you fill them up, yeah. make sure that they go right down the bottom, the minced meat. Otherwise, they will be empty inside. Oh, that's not All good. Right? That's, that's not, not good. good. No. Okay? Because you want them full. Yeah, you want them full. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you make these mistakes when, when you're a cook and, and you're trying things out. You're going to make mistakes and that's how, how we learn, I think. That's you know, right, it's, yes. the, that's, it's the best way to learn, isn't it? So if I make a mistake, it's because I'm learning. <laughs> that's right. And there you go, two wonderful gubbers ready to fry. Yes. Yaza, he very particular, she's closing them up. Make sure there's no holes in there, right? Cause no, there's no holes because if you do, they will, they will split hmm. and everything will come out from there. Okay? All right. There you are. Lovely. Perfect. Thank you very okay. much, Yeah, yeah. Let's go and fry them now. Yes, sure. Now I'm going to begin with the scoopers. You need to add the lard to be very soft, because when it's cooked, it will be dry. It will be dry and it will be dry. It will be dry and it will be dry. Great, so we're back from the kitchen with our ready-made gubbers and lemon as well. Yes. So it's time for trying. Mm. Come on in. This is the best part of the show for me because I get to try it when you get four. Oh, nice. that's delicious. Can have some more. <laughs> Go for it. Mmm. It's very crunchy. Yes. And on, on the inside, very, very tasty. The, the taste is like bursting from the middle, isn't it? Yes. Very oniony. Yes. Which is good, because I love Which onion. Which is good, yes. So, um, guys, are you ready to make uh, hot steaming gourmet gubbers? I'd love to make gubbers like that. <laughs> right, get away from this place, it's mine. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> next part of, <laughs> our next part of the show um, is, uh, yeah, I can go and have a rest. She can go and put her feet up, because mm -hmm. she's done all her hard work now. And uh, Ped and Maria, it's your turn to impress Yaya here in the kitchen, because after you've been in the kitchen, cooked gubbers just like this, she's going to try them, and she's going to tell you whether it's uh, good or bad, really. Yes, yes, yep. yes. Okay, so back after the break with Ped and Maria cooking in the kitchen. Should be entertaining. Ready to go in the kitchen cook now? Um, yeah. yeah. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to part two of Yeah Yeah Show Me How To Cook, where Maria and Ped go head to head to see if they can cook Yeah Yeah Vespos Gubbers. Now, who will win this family battle? Whose Gubbers will crumble? And who will forget the ingredients? These questions will be answered in the next part of the show, the big cook-off. Now, Maria, Ped, are you both ready? Yeah, yep, I'm ready. ready to go. Good, I'm going to hand you your aprons then. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Do you know, do you remember what Yeah Yeah taught you? Nope. No? Nope, it's a good just, start. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Maria? Yeah, I think I think I remember. Yes, I'm feeling a little bit quietly confident. <laughs> quietly confident. Oh, what are you going to do so about this? Uh, okay. I'm going to have to wing it. Well, guys, off you go. The with Gordon is here. It's been soaked by Yaya already, so uh, you guys are lucky. Yeah. Um, off you go. Start whatever okay. you whatever you think. Go. On. Just waiting to see what you do. <laughs> No cheating here, guys. Like you know, this is uh, you know professional. You got you've got to cook your own thing. So, Ped, your your name is Peter. It is officially Peter, but the Greek version of it is Pedro, and got shortened to Ped. Okay, sorry. So most people will know you by the name Ped. Yeah. Well, wow. <laughs> Peter. I don't buy anything. And uh, Maria, uh, you guys are cousins, right? Yeah. Do you argue much? Um, I guess we do because we have a business together. <laughs> so a business yeah. together, yes. Yeah, so you've got to tell me more about this business. That's, uh, all right, I'll let you get sorted there because I know you're, you're really trying to think of no, what to put in next. <laughs> get out of your way. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Here you go. Oh, yeah, I did a little oh, surprise yeah. for you. Oh, Thank yeah. you. This, um, you know, for the sake of Yaya Show Me How To Cook, we're going to do a little uh, experiment to see if this actually works, okay? So you say that you're allergic to onions. Well, they definitely make me cry. So. Right, here you go, guys. Thank you. All right. So this works, right? <laughs> Experiment, as we said. <laughs> I better not ask you any questions, though. No? 
Is it working? <laughs> working? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what you guys are saying, mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no, I'm crying. <laughs> this is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys cook at all? Um, Convenient food. Yeah. Convenient well, food. I'm a microwave, microwave cook. Microwave cook? Yeah. I'm so brilliant at it though. Are you? Yeah. How did you learn how to microwave cook? Well, luckily they, uh, they wrote it on the back, in the packet. So, right. you know. <laughs> so it's easy to follow? Yeah, yeah. So you don't cook Greek food, and unless it's microwave Greek food? No. no. You sometimes use the form as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, but again, that doesn't really take much cooking. You look like you're going to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Maria? Do you cook Greek stuff? Not Greek stuff, not Greek no. stuff. The easy stuff, pasta. I don't cook elephants when I have the time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think I'm suffering more than you are with the onions. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Well, there, there is the other option where you could put water here, but I don't know if that works in the. Water on your wrist, they say. I'm just going to try not to cry into the food now. Are you crying because yeah. uh, you know you're excited? The excitement of eating no, no. the food. I think she knows she's going to lose. Oh, <laughs> if I lose, though, he can cook all the family meals. <laughs> so you guys work together. Tell yeah. me more about your business, uh, Digital Mosaic. That's right. We um, it's a design agency. Right. Okay. So we make websites and we do print stuff as well, such as logos. Oh. We do. Uh, uh, posters, anything like that, really. Right, okay. So, you, are you guys, you guys work together in it? Yeah. You, and, um, <laughs> you're oh, playing. Playing. No, no, no. No. You guys <laughs> have the Halloween look. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are, um, working together, so did you, did you, open, did you start it? How did uh, it well, begin? We, we both started it together, like, we were in full-time employment, and we were just getting freelance work, right, and okay. we just got to the point where, it was just too much work, so we had to go full time into onto the business. Right, okay. It's not a bad thing. We're almost uh, three years old, I think. So we've been going a while now. Yeah. Well done, guys. Thanks. Well, this is a race. He's definitely won. I don't know. I could do this last the, uh... bit, but I'm going to add this in here mm -hmm. and hope that's the correct thing to do. What's the biggest disaster you've had in the kitchen? Um, I haven't had any major disasters, just like the odd burning of a pan. Burn a house down at all? No, no. No, okay. not so good. Not yet. <laughs> Come on then. Um, a little bit behind him. So Maria, you, you cook a li little bits, you said? Yeah, whenever I find the time. And I think pretty spectacular. But not, not Greek stuff? No. 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 Who, who told you how to cook? Like, mm. what you already know? No one, really. J.R. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. And my nan taught me how to make a cake when I was young. And that's the only thing I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What cake was so, so no, it was one, it was a mysticism one, so it was no oh. dairy in it. Oh, OK. Yeah. Was he a big uh, influence in your life? Yes, she was. We always used to go there on Sundays and have family meals with her. And yeah. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. yeah. So, do you think she's influenced you in any way, you know, growing up? What, what sort of role did she have in, in your lives? Um, we were very close with her. And she was always um, very kind and caring and polite. Mm. Yeah. Great in the kitchen, mm -hmm. as you Yeah, said. she was. She always did everything. Do you wish you uh, you sort of picked up a few of the, of the recipes that she knew? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got your yeah, other one now to uh, yeah. show you how to make gobes, and I don't I'm think... sure once you do the gobes, you're going to want to make baklava, and you're going to want to make yeah. uh, macaroni to forno. Uh, what else? Lovi. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, lovi and fudge at home. What's your favourite Greek dish? For me, it's uh, macaroni al forno. Oh, yes. Actually, no, wait, uh, souvlaga. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, wait, no. Um, Perhaps. <laughs> souvla. Do you know what? Can I just choose mezze? Mezze. Oh, yeah. A bit of everything. Yeah. Right, that's. Oh, you can't really beat that. And yeah. That's a generic. I'm sure if you asked any Greek, they'd say the same thing. Yeah. Like, there's so many dishes. Yeah. There's, there, it really is difficult to, to choose, um, you know, even one. How about you, Maria? What's um, your, your top? 
I like quite Top a lot. Top 10, shall I say? Yeah, I like um, <laughs> I like soupiers, so the squid, squid with wine and onions. I like gourmets, mm. especially the mushroom ones. Um, kebabs. There's loads of things. Yeah. How's it feeling? It's not there yet. Yeah, it's oh, he's he's better than me again. This is where you take out all of your stress. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hard day at work, hard day in the office. Just do a bit of leading, go home, make gubbers. Yeah. Next day, all's good because you've got gubbers nice and you're lunch. at work. Nice yeah. lunch. That's assuming they make the night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, they wouldn't last long in your house. <laughs> okay. I think I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. How do you know? Quite yeah. a sticky consistency. In fact, well, I think it's a bit too sticky. Yeah, mine's a bit too sticky as well. But I think I can make a good shape out of it. Okay. What are you thinking? You've got some ideas in I'm, your head now. I'm considering adding some more flowering, but I don't know how that's going to end up. It smells correct. It smells correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. So, cutting onions yet again? Yeah. I had a little story about fishing that like, uh, maybe you should share with us. Yeah. I used to I used to go fishing when I was a kid, yeah. and uh, my mum would take me and my cousin down to the port in in Cyprus, and um, we never used to catch anything. And then my mum said one day that if we don't catch anything, she's not taking us again. Oh. So uh, we went uh, we went fishing and we didn't catch anything, so we just went and bought some fish. Um, yeah, and the only we would have we got away with it, but um, the guy gutted the fish as well. Oh. So that just like. Yeah. So your mum got home and saw gutted fish and thought, yeah. oh, what good children I've got. They've even gutted it for me. <laughs> Did she know the truth Did she ever realise? She must have. She that. must have realised. She never said anything though. Oh. Did she let you go fishing again? Yeah, yeah, we went fishing. Again. <laughs> this is not going well. Well, oh my goodness. You just like you Yes, yes. You have. Not like this. You use it a microwave on me. <laughs> 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 so, Maria, what about you? What, what hobbies do you, do, you have? Um, what do you do? I don't really have much time for my hobbies anymore. Yeah. But um, when I was younger, I used to do a lot of things like um, karate. Oh. Um, cool. Yeah. I did dancing back then. Should um, do No. Try it. 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 Whenever you guys are ready, you're going to go yeah. there. We'll go off to the kitchen. So, Ped, you grew up in Cyprus, that must have been a good experience for you. Yeah, it was good, especially in the, uh, in the summers. I used to get yeah. about three months off of school and I used to just spend it at the beach. Amazing. Oh, it was the best. So lucky. So lucky. <laughs> when you live in England, you get, don't get luxuries like that, right? Yeah, it's something I miss, the beach. Do you wish you could live there again? I do, but it's, um, it's difficult working out there. Yeah. So, um, I'm here now. So, we'll see what happens in the future. Now, you told me earlier that you had a funny story to tell, so uh, now uh, the time. Yeah, you know, I was young. It's um, me and my cousin, we were really young, we were in Cyprus, and we decided, we made, I don't know why we did it, but we made them um, little wax balls yeah. from candles, and then we poured syrup on them, and then offered them to all of our relatives, oh. and told them it was the Oh, you're so Yeah, <laughs> only one of them fell for it, but we didn't allow him to eat it, oh. you know, we warned him before he put it in his mouth. Yeah. Nice idea. Yeah. Next thing we're going to do is the meat. Yep. 
milk. Okay. And we're going to add in our pasta. And our onions. Some big parsley though. Yeah, I'm not so good with chopping. When you're ready and you think you want to go and fill up your gourmets, I think you, I'm ready. You're done? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Almost done. Almost yeah, done. almost there. Go as Maria used to say? Yeah, alright, yeah. really. <laughs> Let's go. Right, so there are a lot of different stages to making gourbets. We've just come out of the kitchen and we're ready to do the final part of gourbets making, as we say. So, uh, you've got your mix there, you, you've got um, the filling. Off you go, guys. Uh, try and make some gourbets so you can start moulding. <clears throat> this is the bit you should be good at because you're the yeah. creative one. The sculpture. The sculpting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Are your family, where are they from in Cyprus? Um, my dad's from Nimasol and my mum's from Dizzle Gaffa. So, okay. I usually go and say Nimasol. Yeah. I think this is a bit bigger than it's supposed to be. Yeah. Right, what did Yaya say oh. about this part? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Push it right. <laughs> this is a lot harder than it is. <laughs> Yaya made it look. <laughs> Mine won't go down. <laughs> so I made a nice flower. <laughs> push it all the way down so that it's not empty. I think my second one might be better. Okay, let's go off the kitchen again. Oh, this one is quite a Let's hope the AR approves. Let's hope. I think we're there. Yeah. So I get your plate to serve them on. There you go. One goodbye. I think uh, gubbas are a lot more complicated than I first thought. Uh, you always you always buy them from the shop, you don't realise all the different stages and everything you have to have prepared and just how long it takes, but I think the end result, I, I think they're pretty good and I'm easily going to win. Maria hasn't got a hope. I was confident as I initially was because Yaya made it look so easy um, and it's all about getting the consistency right um, of the porcori because um, mine was a bit cracked so I'm not sure um, about how much better mine will be than heads. The time is now up for Maria and Ped. They've cooked their gobes. Hopefully they're edible, but you know, yeah, yeah, Vespa will be the judge of that. So yeah, yeah, Vespa, um, you're going to be judging on presentation and taste. So you can go ahead and, and try them and let us know what you think. Let's just put a bit of lemon on that because you can't have gobes without lots and lots of lemon. There you go. That's your first one. So she's, uh, let us know what you think, Yaya. What can you taste? Yaya's very quiet. Is this a good thing <laughs> or is it a bad <laughs> thing? <laughs> oh, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yaya, wait a minute. Tell us why you're laughing now. Because there's no meat. Oh, there's in no it. meat in it. <laughs> oh, let's get a bit with meat in it. Let's just make it a bit fairer. Hold on. Let's get a bit with meat in it. <laughs> Go ahead, Yaya. Oh, I don't know. I can't. I can't call it. <laughs> Is that nervous laughter? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Which one do you think overall has won today's Yaya Show Me How to Cook? Well, as for presentation, this one's is better than these. But okay. As for taste, 
these are better because yeah. this one has no meat at all it's just burkuri okay, okay. Mm. So, right so so this one's our overall winner yes are you ready to lift the plate yep all right guys here we go the result of yeah show me how to cook is blue oh. excellent oh. that means maria you are our winner well done congratulations Cook of the week. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm feeling good. I was a little bit nervous, so um, yeah. You, you, you were saying to me, oh, I don't know if I'm going to win. I don't know if I'm going to win, but you, you yeah. made it, which means he has actually enjoyed eating your good Thank yeah. you very much, Haya. <laughs> Peter, please next time put a little bit of meat in your goodness. Yeah, I did in the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Any excuse, Peter? Yeah. Well, Peter, don't give up cooking, okay? Um, keep trying, and um, I'm sure you'll get them perfect eventually. And you've won yourself uh, a dinner for two at a Greek restaurant. Thank so, you. congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, You're welcome. Who are you taking to dinner? Um, Probably uh, my fiance or my sister, or oh. maybe even Ped, because oh. I feel bad that he lost, but oh. I'll see who wants to come. Excellent. Well, Ped, you're the runner-up, unfortunately, out but of two. <laughs> out of two. <laughs> but don't give up because you know you're only a loser if you quit. Yeah, yeah. That's for. No. Um, thank you so much for everything today. You've you're taught welcome. us how to make amazing gobes, and uh, I'm sure you know Ped and Maria and everybody watching is gonna try this and you know take your recipe. So thank you very much. You've been you're welcome. brilliant. Thank you very much for coming. I think you've been wonderful. Both of you, everybody's welcome. Now I've got something for you both. Um, that's for you, and that's for you, and that is so you never forget. Yeah, yeah, recipe. That's thank the, you. the, oh, the thank recipe, you. ingredients, method, everything. Thank you. I'm definitely going to try it again. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> Are you going to try again? I'll try again. I'll try again. Good. <laughs> Just put meat in it this time. <laughs> And now for our closing message, Yasas que harasas, que la cura de Thank you. Bravo, Yaya, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. You guys can dig in now, come on. <laughs> <laughs>